we have served uh, Dennis Diggs with a third murder warrant. Uh, he was currently in Central Booking on two other unrelated murders. Police say Dennis Diggs gunned down the first victim, 29-year-old Jarrell Hicks, in the 3300 block of Caton Avenue. The shooting happened on March 24, 2015. On October 2nd of this year, investigators say Diggs shot and killed 22-year-old Jackson Blyer in the 600 block of Yale Avenue. Mr. Blyer's family can at least rest at ease knowing that their sons, their family members killers off the streets. The family of Jamie Christian is also getting closure. Detectives say Diggs killed the 22-year-old three weeks after he murdered Blyer. That shooting happened in the 3300 block of West Baltimore Street. Just as you and I are breathing here today, it seems like killing people was okay with him. And it was an, a definite accomplishment, one, getting him off the streets uh, the first time for the first two murders, but then serving him with his third arrest warrant. Getting violent repeat offenders off the streets has been a top priority for police as homicide numbers climb. According to the latest crime statistics available, 306 people were murdered between the beginning of this year and December 17th, slightly lower than 328 homicides during the same period in 2015. The west side of the city, where Diggs is accused of killing the three men, leads the homicide count with 164. So according to online court records, Diggs was charged in the first two murders uh, last month, and again, he's being held in central booking. We're live outside police headquarters tonight. Vanessa Herring, WBAL TV 11 News.